All right, let's bring in uh, uh, Louisiana Senator John Kennedy. We showed the wide shot uh, of New Orleans a, a short time ago. Uh, Senator, welcome. Uh, I tell you, it's kind of disturbing, but it's all too familiar. Uh, our flight team, our drone team, was able to capture people just running full sprint, one of which on one, two guys in handcuffs across our border. Why is there not a, why can't, can't there be a bipartisan sense of outrage everywhere in seeing this? Well, the, uh, the Department of Homeland Security has announced that the, uh, the border is closed. Mm -hmm. But they lie like they breathe. I mean, I don't mean to be ugly, but they lie like they breathe. When I heard, when I heard the secretary say the border is closed, I, my mind went back to that image of President Clinton looking the American people in the eye and saying, I did not have sex with that woman. We know how that turned out. Uh, I've been to the border. If you if you believe the border is closed, you believe in the tooth fairy, the Easter bunny, and that Jimmy Hoffa died of natural causes. Uh, we'll have two million people come in to the United States this year illegally, thanks to the Biden administration. They have no idea who they are, except they're coming from all over the world. Uh, the Biden administration has almost completely halted any kind of deportation of people already here illegally. America has been has become one giant sanctuary city. And the shame of all this is that in addition to, to uh, violating the law and being dangerous, it undermines legal immigration. Right. Uh, most Americans support legal immigration. I do. We, we welcome a million people to come into our country. You'll never get reform while that's happy to have them. You'll never get reform as long yeah. as this is happening ever. Canada is sealed. The northern border is sealed. The southern border is chaos. Romanians are coming through. Well, Pre President Biden has put around him. Um, I know he's a nice guy. He is a nice guy. I've talked to him. But the people he's put around him are, are extremely radical. I mean, they live in crazy town. They need an exorcist. These folks really believe that vetting people at the border is racist. They think that unlike any other country in the history of the world, we are supposed to just welcome anybody who wants to come in crazy. without asking any questions. And that, that just, American people don't support that. And President Biden knows it. So that's why I say so many of his people lie like they breathe. You, you mentioned the DHS secretary, Alejandro Mayorkas, talking about the border being closed. We put together a montage of him saying that over and over. Listen to this. We are uh, elevating our messaging uh, so that the uh, individuals do know that they cannot come to the border. The border is closed. Uh, precisely that. The border is closed. Uh, the message is quite clear. Do not come. Uh, the border is closed. The border is secure. The border is secure. The border is closed. We've been unequivocal in that. The border is not secure. You can look at all of this video. We play it almost every single day of more groups coming through. What's your reaction? Well, I, I, I know the secretary. He, look, here's what D.C. is is all about. The thing that most people in Washington, D.C. want is to keep their jobs. And I'm sure mm -hmm. the secretary wants to keep his job. And I'm sure he's been told by the Biden White House to, uh, to just say, OK, uh, the, pro the border's closed. And so many people around President Biden believe that the American people are morons and that they'll just believe whatever they see on television. And they're not morons and they don't believe it because it's not true. And I think they know that. Uh, but but this just shows you the contempt that so many people in the Biden administration have for the uh, for the American people. And that is why we are showing those images from our drone team. The administration may say it's closed, but clearly it is wide open. Senator, uh, I know on Capitol Hill, uh, the number one priority right mm -hmm. now seems to be to try to get 
for the Republicans a an infrastructure bill. Uh, your suggestion is about a third of their latest. There seems to, however, have been a little compromise because the uh, president came back. He lopped about a half a trillion dollars off of it. And this is what one of his senior advisors said about the infrastructure, along with Bernie Sanders, and where it could go next. Uh, <clears throat> he wants a deal. He wants it uh, soon. Uh, but as there are meaningful uh, negotiations going, uh, taking place in a bipartisan manner, He's willing to let that play out. But again, uh, he will not let inaction be the answer. And when it gets to the point where it looks like that is inevitable, inevitable you'll see him uh, change course. We would like bipartisanship, but I don't think we have a seriousness on the part of the Republican leadership to address the major crises facing this country. And if they're not coming forward, we've got to go forward alone. So, in other words, Bernie Sanders wants to blow up the system, do it by uh, reconciliation. However, uh, as we heard from the first advisor, Joe Biden is willing to change course if the Republicans don't deal. Their offer is still three times more than what you guys are willing to do. So he's going to have to change course, isn't he? Well, as soon as President Biden puts an infrastructure bill in front of me, I will consider it. But uh, right now, his infrastructure bill, he's basically asking me to buy a car to get the cup holders. <laughs> Only about five, maybe 10 percent of his infrastructure bill is infrastructure. And the rest of it is the Green New Deal, a federal takeover of child care and reparations. Now, if the president wants an infrastructure bill, we can put one together with our Democratic friends in the Senate very quickly. It'll be six to eight hundred million dollars. It'll be roads, bridges, ports, sewer, water, broadband. We can tell him how to pay for it by repurposing some of the coronavirus money and by scrubbing the federal budget a little bit. But he, he, he doesn't want to do that. And I don't think the White House right. is really interested in infrastructure bill. They're more interested in, in a federal takeover of child care so they can control the curriculum and a Green New Deal and reparations. And that's yeah. why we haven't been able to come together. Well, we all know, logic but, tells but you. It, but, but if I see if I see a real infrastructure bill, I and most of my, uh, Demo uh, my uh, Republican colleagues will pounce on it like a ninja. We just hadn't seen one. Yeah, yet. I mean, you're at 600 billion. You'll go up a little, I'm sure, but not when you're gonna, gonna have to pay for elder care, school lunches, as well as preschool. And you gotta militarize the IRS to go raid and find some way to get more money out of the most successful people in this country and continue that vilification process. My sense is with inflation, with every th single thing that we buy and use now doubling in price from gas to lumber, the American people are not going to be okay with this. Maybe they might uh, may maybe they might have been okay with it three months ago, but not now. Don't you think that there's the, a sense out there that things are getting out of control with the spending? Well, we're, we're, the, the, the Biden White House is spending money like a sailor on shore leave. In fact, there's a bill, uh, Senator Schumer has a bill in front of the uh, Senate right now that's going to cost probably $250 billion. And he says we need it. It's backed by the Biden White House to fight communism and make us more competitive. And it's probably going to pass because some of my Republican colleagues have swapped brains with the Democrats and they're going to vote for it. Uh, they want to give 50, 60 billion dollars to big tech. Now we all know big tech is broke. They want to give 60 yeah. billion dollars, up to 3 billion a company, to big tech so they can make a better algorithms to more quickly censor us. I mean, it makes no sense, right. but it's probably Like they did with pass. China. Like they agreed to do with China. Yeah. So, and Biden, yeah. he ran on that student loan forgiveness, but it's not in his uh, latest, his upcoming budget. He told the New York Times, the idea you go to, a, to Penn for 70000 a year and the public should pay for that, I don't agree. But he ran on that. What, is, what message does this tell the 42 million Americans that were going to get $10,000 lobbed off of their student loans? Many of them went to the polls to vote for him, and he's not fulfilling that promise. Well, I think I think the White House is being realistic. Uh, they don't they don't have the votes to pass it. Number one and number two, the American people don't support it. Um, I don't understand why all loans don't matter. You, you know why why student debt? 
Why not uh, credit card debt? Why not car <laughs> loans? And, that's next. and what the president that's was next. asked, he was asking the American people, many of whom didn't go to college, to, to pay for those who did go. And what about the people who've already paid that's off right. their student loans? Sure. Um, he, here's what our policy on student debt ought to be. Number one, you borrowed the money. Number two, pay it back. Problem solved. <laughs> right. It's that easy. All right, Senator, always a pleasure to send, spend a little of our Monday mornings with you. Thank you for joining us today from Louisiana. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right.